is a KuCoin listing in the future for Pepe 2.0. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. Of course, my name is Rodney. Do me a favor and smash that like button if you are bullish on Pepe 2.0 and if you believe that they will be listed on KuCoin. I'm going to present some evidence why it is very, very possible for them to get listed on KuCoin and then explain this really bullish pattern we're having in this chart. But I want you to let me know in the comments down below. What is your favorite type and part of cryptocurrency? Is it meme coins like Dogecoin, Pepe 2.0, Pepe, or SHIB? Is it NFTs like Board 8 Yacht Club? Is it blue chip cryptocurrency and altcoins like Cardano and Matic? Or is it just stores of value like Bitcoin and others? I'm interested to hear your favorite part of cryptocurrency. Mine is meme coins for sure because they're so exciting. Kind of like gambling in a way. Okay, so Pepe 2.0 absolutely sending in a day where the cryptocurrency market really isn't doing anything. And the original Pepe made an interesting post this morning saying, good morning, together we rise. Now, the original Pepe has been down about 5% the entire day, about a 27% decrease in volume. So we can see that, you know, people are selling off Pepe today. Now, I take this post as an endorsement of Pepe 2.0 and other frogged theme Points because at the end of the day, it's been frogs versus dogs during this meme coin battle we've been having, you know, pretty much since you know Pepe came onto the scene midway through April. And this is important if Pepe 2.0 and the original Pepe, right, can form some sort of alliance to kind of take down the standard, you could say, in meme coin, which is Doge and SHIB, that'd be fantastic for everyone holding Pepe. Now, I have nothing against uh, Doge or SHIB. I think they're great for the space. They're pretty much the trendsetters and the ones who kind of pave the way for meme coins to just exist in the space, in my opinion. But I do think it's time for the frogs to finally kind of be the dominating force in the cryptocurrency market. And if it makes you guys any like more hopeful, Pepe tokens have not experienced a true bull run. Remember, SHIB and Doge peaked during the last bull run of 2021, where Bitcoin hit an all-time high. Pepe peaked in the middle of a bear market, right? Now, Pepe 2.0 is also doing something that Pepe did, which is pumping while nothing else is going on in the market. And that's absolutely insane. It should get you excited because it could start another meme coin run, right? So what's this bullish pattern I'm talking about? Why it could be bullish? So Earlier today, we saw Pepe hit a double top, but then it hit the top for a third time, showing that there's some sort of resistance in this cryptocurrency. What does that mean, right? So what is a double top? Technical chart patterns called double tops often point to the possibility of a downtrend reversal from an uptrend. It develops when the price of an asset twice reaches a resistance level, fails to break through it, and then starts to fall. Now, I think that doing technical analysis on new meme coins is kind of silly, but the, with the amount of uh, holders and volume this token has you and the exchanges that it's on, you have to believe that people are going to be trading this and looking at more technical patterns and stuff like that, right? So we saw that around June 29th, Pepe hit its all-time high around what? Uh, the 10s, pretty much. And then more recently, this morning, we saw Pepe hit about 11. So pretty much it's spot on when it comes to the double top. It hit that same top earlier today. It dumped quite significantly, which could be bearish, but we're starting to see it pump again. And the reason it could be pumping again is because there are rumors that they may be getting a KuCoin listing. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. People say that they were talking about it in the Telegram, it's all over Twitter, but keep in mind, Mind. Unless it comes from the official uh, KuCoin account, the announcement first, then I wouldn't believe it. Right? I just wouldn't believe it. Um, it is actually against the terms of service or uh, against the agreement to announce an exchange listing before the exchange uh, uh, announces it to the public because it can you know, cause all sorts of insider trading. And usually when a project announces it before the exchange does, they just get rid of that listing altogether. So you cannot do that. And so far, I haven't heard anything from KuCoin. But why do I think Pepe 2.0 could get listed on an exchange? And I've talked about this, uh, this reason before. Right. The reason why I think Pepe 2.0 has a chance to get listed on bigger exchanges is the volume. As you can see, we have Doge, Pepe, SHIB, and then Pepe 2.0 as a top four for daily volume, which is a huge deal because exchanges make their money on volume and swaps. So the more people swapping on it, 
the more money is going to be made for these exchanges. And when it comes to Binance and Coinbase, they're a little stricter on what they list, especially Coinbase. But a lot of exchanges like OKX, <laughs> KuCoin, don't really care. They'll list a token. And then if it goes like if a rug pulls or goes to shit, they'll just delist it. Right. But they, if they see that people are trading this and it's growing a strong community and they have the opportunity to make money in a bear market because exchanges need money, too, they will definitely list the token. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think Pepe 2.0 is getting listed on KuCoin? I'm interested to hear your opinion. Do you think it's going to smash through its all time high? I'm also interested to hear your opinion on that. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe and I will talk to you very, very soon. Peace.